Time now is 616. Looking outside over St. Teresa. Still dark out there. Sunrise in about an hour and a half. Some passing clouds. You're going to be seeing the clouds all day. Now, real quick, before we get onto the tropics, your current conditions are absolutely gorgeous outside. Mid 50s, lower 60s in North Florida. We all feel good outside. So that's that. Enjoy the nice weather while it sticks around because I can assure you it's not sticking around for too much longer. Things are going to start to deteriorate pretty quickly once that sun goes down. Looking at your Titan radar loop and the satellite turned on there. Satellite's got a lot of clouds. Radar's got some light offshore showers that some of it looks to be making it inland. Expect possible drizzle pretty much all day for the coastal areas as that tropical moisture moves inland. Those orange boxes on your screen, those are tropical storm warnings just put into effect this morning for most of the Big Ben. So on to, well, what we're looking at, potential tropical cyclone number 16 right now, most likely to be subtropical storm Nestor. Biggest impact's gonna be for us overnight into early tomorrow morning. Saturday morning plans, wouldn't suggest them, especially if they're outside. We're gonna be seeing heavy rain, gusty winds, and rough surf offshore. Also some coastal storm surge up to four to five feet, especially down in the Appalachian Bay. We are looking at upper level winds, keeping it from developing too much and getting too strong. So we're not looking at any potential for a Michael-like scenario on the table. That's good. The only similarities will be where it is making landfall. All that convection and moisture on the east side of the center, and that's the side that we're going to be dealing with. You see the west side there, mostly dry. That's why this will be a subtropical storm. It does have those subtropical characteristics associated with cold front. Here's a look at the track from the Hurricane Center. This was issued at 5 a.m. We'll get another one at 8 a.m. Every three hours now is when we'll be putting out updates. Latest one has it pretty much in the same place and the intensity pretty much the same. So not many changes. The biggest change will be when they designate this a subtropical cyclone later on in the day. We are expecting that landfall early tomorrow morning again right around that Michael area. Panama City Beach, Mexico Beach there. That's where we're going to be seeing this move on shore. All the rainfall though, that's going to be right here in the Big Bend. So if you're looking for rain relief for a lot of us, this is going to be a good storm. Now for some of us, again, you're going to be seeing some of the stronger winds could knock out some power for some of us. And we're going to be seeing the tropical storm force conditions by overnight, early tomorrow morning. See, we're all shaded in orange here in the Big Bend now. So those are those warnings. Probably got the alert on your phone. If not, you can look at our Storm Shield app and those will push all those straight to you. Your forecast and focus, this is going to really nicely illustrate what we're expecting the radar to look like. For most of today, not bad, cloudy, maybe some drizzle. After sunset, that's when that moisture starts to work inland. That's when rain begins for us here in the Big Bend. Friday night plans, here you are at 11. It's going to be a little rainy for some of us. But the strongest winds, the heaviest rain, that flood potential, that's going to be tomorrow morning, along with that severe potential as it pushes on shore late overnight. And we're going to be seeing that heavy stuff, those gusty winds, pretty much all morning tomorrow around sunrise. So again, outdoor Saturday plans, don't suggest them. It is not going to be ideal. This is sitting inside weather. Make sure you make those uh, last second preparations today before it moves in overnight. Rain moves out tomorrow night, and then Sunday actually shapes up to be a pretty nice weekend day. Rainfall total is going to be pretty impressive. We'll see a swath of probably four to six inches. You see it shaping up there. That'll lead to some localized flooding, so make sure you got a heads up there. Tropical storm force winds, 39 miles per hour plus. Very likely for us here in the Big Bend. 72 is your high today. Cloudy skies overnight. It's when those conditions start to deteriorate with lows in the 60s. Tomorrow's going to be a wash. Those rain chances essentially 100. We will see that stick around through early Sunday before you clear out. Now the cold front bringing us rain late Monday into early Tuesday will cool us off and clear us out for the middle of next week.